This is my wild Benny. He's my wild, wild, beautiful Benny. Hi, Benny. Meow, 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 meow. This is the love-in, the morning love-in we have with Bunny. Not everybody sees this part of him because he doesn't usually like to be filmed for it. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a head bunk he's doing right now. Hi, Bunny. But once in a while, I catch him. I think this is the best film I ever got him of the of the love in John. Yeah, this is going well. Baby John, you're so wild and beautiful. You went outside this morning for a little while. Mm. I guess you're getting better at feeling brave again. Mm. Yeah, he was traumatized because when, the last time he really went outside was a couple of months ago, and then he, for some reason, became paralyzed and when it was unable to get back to the house. Chris had to go outside and find him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he was laying in the backyard, unable to walk. I wonder if it had anything to do with the, the tooth surgery he had. It was a few things. Anyway, we put him on the healing altar and we did all kinds of body massage for him. And we gave him vitamins and everything. The vet had no explanation for it. There was no damage. X-rays showed that there was nothing broken. And then he started slowly walking again. Look at him now. He's doing great. Never cried. No, he didn't cry. He was very stoic. He was stoic. He was stoic. Stoic. We wrote a short story on uh, a character called... It's a, it's a long short story for us, right? Yeah, for me it is, for sure. But, and then, it's funny, John just ends it with... I was like, where are we going to go with this? We'll, we'll be posting it, yeah. It's, it's called uh, The Continuing Saga of Fake Blithely, um, based very loosely on uh, Blake Lively, if anyone follows her. <laughs> I, I only really... Oh, let, let me get get rid of this thing. This is too fucking loud. Hold on a second. Yeah, what, are you kidding with that? Blake Lively is, like, under the gun for something. Uh, I don't know. She's not behaving improperly as a celebrity. She's... Everyone's mad at her. So we decided to do a story on fake Blithely, as John called her. So we started our first episode. Are we going to go back to fake blithely? We we might. I don't know. And and it went went on for several pages, which is unusual for a story. John usually loses patience in a story and says, "Come on, let's do another one. Let's wrap this one up." But this one we kept going back to yesterday, and at the and then I said, "Where are we going to go with it now?" And he goes, "This is where we're going to go." And he writes, "Oh, forget it. You go and get the idea." <laughs> More on this moron some other day, right? And you know what? It was refreshing to do that. Yeah. It felt liberating. It's like, yes, you don't have to be. What are you doing, John? Ugh. Kissing you. My God. I want to be that cat the way you're fondling this cat. All right, well, then pretend you're him. Why are you letting him stand on my notebook? Because I do. You love Bunny and you know it. Oh, God, John, you're really... Oh. He loves to write. It makes it makes me... <laughs> oh, stop it. He does, though. John, John, it's, he loves to write. He loves to eat. He loves to... John loves to live. Mm. That's what I could say about Johnny. He loves to live. Mm -hmm. And he loves the act of, of living. And that's that, that was our reading this morning. Uh, the a Judgment and the Ace of Cups and also the Hanged Man. Do what makes you feel good and, you know, learn a new skill. Uh, take a class. Um, dance. Do whatever the... Dance. Yes, I must dance. 
Bunny, you did that with your life, and look where you are now. You are, like, back to being really great. Mm -hmm. But, Bunny, even as an invalid, you were so great, yeah. You were so great. You were so brave and very, you know, he sat in this little basket for a few days and just looked at the sunshine. And he never lost his sweet demeanor, never once. And then when I would give him his morning uh, um, massage therapy, he would gaze up at me like, you're taking care of me, Mommy, right? Mm -hmm. I feel fine, Mommy. We are doing fine. I can't walk yet, but I will. And, you know, I had confidence that he would. I was like, God wouldn't do this to my bunny. Even though terrible things happen all the time. Mm. Like fake blithely. I mean, she, uh, you know, I have little sympathy for the public crashing down on her because she's a media monger, but also she seems like such a hypocrite. Like she's running this alcohol uh, line and she claims, but, uh, but I don't drink. It's not my thing, but I love being a mixologist. Like, what is that? Shut up. So everybody out there drank my stuff. There seems something insidious and weird about her. Mm. Anyway, this is a funny story. So we're posting it. The fake Bridley story. Or uh, uh, Snake Bridley. John gave her a lot of names. Flake. Flake Snidely. Yeah. You can do a lot with that name. Yeah. Bunny, you're giving me allergens this morning. Your hair is flying everywhere. Look at him. He's beautiful. He wants his uh, tuna snack this morning. We'll give it to him. You want your tuna fish this morning, baby? Let's show him the package because he goes crazy. Look, Mama's got the package. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> then you got to shake the package because he knows that's the sound. Maggie will come running in now, too, because the package is being... Look, 